Hi guys, my name is Brooklyn Romero and I'm in the teacher education program at Colorado State University Pueblo. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we're unable to finish our field experience hours at elementary school since they are online currently, but fortunately we're able to upload YouTube videos every week for parents, teachers, and students to keep their brains moving during this pandemic. So today we are having fun with GeoBoards and this is my math madness. This is for about third grade. It could be younger, it could be older, but I'm going to set it for third grade. And the materials we will need if are... I had a poster board, I would write these polygons on a poster board, but I wrote it on a piece of paper. And they, there are four more polygons, but this is what I'm starting with since they are younger. So I'm starting with triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, and hexagons. And we will also be using this GeoBoard Polygons Activity Sheets. A pencil or a pen of some sort, a writing utensil. We do have an actual GeoBoard we will be using today. And actual rubber bands. So we will be having some fun with this manipulator today. Okay, so the first thing we would do is discuss as a class what the polygons are. So, of course, if I was in the classroom right now, I would have it written on the whiteboards, on the projector, or on a poster board. But since I do just have this, we would go over this. So, of course, I'd go over the triangle. I'd make sure they know that there's only three sides to a triangle. Okay? Next is the quadrilateral. They might know it as a square. I want them to remember that there's only four sides to a quadrilateral. Next is the pentagon. And I want them to know there's five sides. One, two, three, four, five. And next is the hexagon, and I want them to know that there's six sides to it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I want them to thoroughly know what these polygons are. So after we discuss what all the polygons are, after all the questions have been answered, I'd have them all take out their GeoBoard polygons activity sheet, and I want them to draw their favorite polygon onto the sheet, okay? So they can choose from a triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, or a hexagon. It can be as big as they want, as small as they want. And I want them each to do this individually. So I decided to do a quadrilateral and I did it in the middle of the activity sheet. And I want them to notice, if they chose a quadrilateral, what can they do to this figure to make it into a triangle? I want them to keep in mind the similarities and differences between these polygons. And once they have their polygon written on this activity sheet, I have this actual geoboard that we will be making the polygon from the activity sheet onto the geoboard with the rubber bands. Okay, so we started from the middle. So let's see. We go up one to the side one. So up one to the side one. So we'll start here. Notice how we go up two. So we're gonna go up two with the rubber band. And then we go out two, so we run two. We're gonna run, oops, this is hard with one hand. So I went to the side two, and notice how we have a different type of polygon. Okay, then we're gonna go down two. So we're gonna go down two. And there we go. Here's that, here's that. And if we have more worksheets, we can have them do more than just one polygon. 
I think it's fun for them to learn more about these polygons. They can have a more skilled polygon, like for example, they can have a hexagon instead, but I chose the easier route. And once the students do have their geoboard and their activity sheet filled out, I would have them um, hold up both things to the classroom to see. And maybe just do a little short presentation on what they did and the process of how they did it. Just so they all can understand as a group together. And I do want the students to keep their drawings and keep them in their math folder. I think that they should know whether or not this is a polygon. And honestly, they could also write what kind of polygon it is under their drawing. So maybe have them write quadrilateral so they know future reference. But yeah, this is a short activity for them to do. Of course, they can do more than one um, polygon. I think this is a good lesson for them to learn more about polygons. And honestly, it's a really good lesson to learn about rise over run. So this is a beginning to that, but yeah. So if you have a geo board in your classroom or in your household, I recommend using them because, and yeah, I think these geo boards are really fun to use, especially for the little, the little kids because they like um, stretching things. They like creating new figures. And I think this would be a fun lesson for them to learn more about polygons and to learn more about rise over run. I hope you enjoyed this short little lesson and have a great rest of your week. Thank you.